In this fun problem, we're going to calculate distance between points with the Pythagorean theorem. Because it's often, I think, overlooked by many teachers and students that this theorem is super useful in finding distance. And I like this problem because it starts to help us see that. So first, we want to find the distance between the greenhouse and the stadium. So let's draw that line. We'll make that line green, go from the, oops, red apparently, sorry. I want to make that green. So we want to make a line from the greenhouse to the stadium, and we want to find how long that line is. So the trick is to look at this as if it were a right triangle. And I'm going to draw my triangle like this. And now what we have is a right triangle. This distance right here is equal to 3. This distance right here from negative 2 to 6 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this distance is the hypotenuse, and the two legs are 3 and 4. So to find this out, we square 3, get 9. We square 4 to get 16, the two legs. Add them up, and c squared is 25. But we want to know what this distance is. So that distance is just 5, because the square root of 25 is 5. So to go from the greenhouse to the stadium, it's 5, a distance of 5, whether it's blocks or meters or whatever the scale is. So that was the greenhouse to the stadium. Next, we go from the police station to the art museum. So let's draw a line from the police station to the art museum. And again, what we can form is a right triangle with the hyp unknown hypotenuse, and that hypotenuse can be our distance. So what's this leg right here? Well, from 4 to 1, right, negative 4 to 1, that's a distance of 5. From 0 to 6, that's a distance of 6. So now we just need to know the hypotenuse. Our two legs squared, 5 squared is 25, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 6 squared is 36. Add these two up, it gets 61. So this is a, an irrational decimal, right? The square root of 61 is our distance. It's between, well, 8 squared is 64, so it's, between, it's less than 8, but it's more than 7 squared, which is just 49. It's between these two. So it's about, let's say, 7.8 or so, but we'll leave it as the square root of 61. It's, it's, a, it's a value between 7 and 8. Very close to 8, though, because 61 is very close to six, 64, the square of 8. So that's 61. So now we're almost done. We go to the greenhouse to the hospital. Let's use red this time. Greenhouse to hospital. So where's the hospital? Here it is. Here's the greenhouse. And this one's nice. It's just a vertical straight line. And that distance right there is just 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And last we go from City Hall to the gas station. So where's City Hall? Oh, here it is at the origin. City Hall to gas station right here. So again, when we connect these, we have another right triangle. This time, the leg right here, I'm just counting how far it is, it's a distance of 4. And the height this time, going from 0 to 4, is also a distance of 4. So how far is it from City Hall to the gas station? Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. 4 squared plus 4 squared, what is that? Well, it's going to be equal to C squared. It's 16 plus 16, right? Add those two up, we get 32. So C c squared equals 32, and c, this distance right here, is equal to the square root of 32. And that's a decimal. It's between 6, which is um, because 6 squared is 36, and 5, because 5 squared is 25. So it's between those two. It's a decimal that's definitely closer to 6, because 6 squared is closer to 32 than 5 squared, but we can leave it as this. Um, anyway, so, so you can see that on a grid, um, if you want to find a distance between two points, you can imagine the right triangle, right, that would connect them, and you can find the hypotenuse as that distance. Anyway, hope this helped.